and chapter 3, and I'll read verses 1 through 3. It's John, Jude, then Revelations. So if you get the Revelations, the last book, just back up three, you got it. It's all right. Um, and it reads on this wise, Behold, what manner of love the Father has bestowed upon us, that we should be called the sons of God. Therefore the world knoweth us not, because it knew him not. Beloved, now are we the sons of God, and it doth not yet appear what we shall be. But we know that when he shall appear, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. And every man that has this hope in him purifies himself even as he is pure. You may be seated. May the Lord add a blessing Amen. to the reading of his word. And we're going to read several other scriptures in the process of this message. Again, I'm grateful for being here. I do count it a privilege and an honor. And so I, I would like to... Um, I was thinking about the church today and how the church is made up. I asked myself a couple of questions that I don't know if you've asked yourself, but in my earlier years of being saved, I asked myself, who am I? Why am I here? And what is it that God wants to do with me? I mean, why, why are we here? I mean, uh, why did Christ feel it necessary to save us? For what reason? I mean, or what, what are we supposed to do? I, that was my lifelong quest, is to understand what my purpose was. And let me just say something about purpose. You know, when God created us, he didn't create us and then say, ah, oh, let me see what I'm going to do with Timothy. And then he created Francis and said, ah, oh, let me see what I'm going to do with Francis. No, it didn't work like that. God established the purpose first, yeah. then the person. So if you hear, that means that God already has planned out yeah. your purpose and your destiny in life. Yes. And now he's trying to get you to come around to it yes. so that you can fulfill your purpose and destiny. Yes. 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 And the hardest, that's the hardest part of this whole thing yes. is figuring out what are we supposed to be doing. I staggered around life for about 22 years. I was saved at age 22. And I never realized what it was the Lord wanted me to do. And so between the ages of 17 and 22, I probably lived faster than most people live in a lifetime. Because I was in the United States Navy and traveled all around the world and did everything I was big enough to do and things I shouldn't have done. And after going through all those changes, I figured out that that wasn't my purpose. But the Lord was so gracious to me and saw me polluted and in my own blood, twice dead as it was and plucked up by the roots, left on the roadside to die. And he seen me in my pitiful state and had mercy upon me and called me and I responded to his call. Yes. Yes. That, was, that was over 32 and a half years ago. Amen. And ever since I've responded to his call, I've understood my purpose and I've been walking in it. Amen. And I often was told that I had the gift of gab. <laughs> see, I tell you, you have to be, you have to be careful sometimes. When you, when you see a person do something a lot, it's probably something to do with what they were supposed to be doing. Yes, yes. And so because I talked a lot, I never realized that I was going to be talking before thousands, but that was my gift in God. Amen. And so here Amen. I stand, a preacher of the gospel oh, for 30 years. Yeah. And so I understand that I've been created for the purpose of uh, proclaiming the gospel of Jesus Christ uh, to a lost and dying world. And also uh, to proclaim to the people of God how to get the people of God in a place 
where they can fulfill their divine destiny and purpose. Wouldn't you like that? Wouldn't oh, yes. you just I'll like to know what you're supposed to be doing yes. and do it? Yes. Oh, it's so I tell you, I'll tell you. I've been to the uh, the I've been to the Eiffel Tower of Paris. I've run the Boston Marathon. I've traveled to the far reaches of Hong Kong and been all the way to Manila and Japan and different places around the world. And I thought that uh, it would be wonderful if I went and tra being a world traveler that it would be fulfilling. It had its exciting moments, but it was not fulfilling. I never realized what real fulfillment was until I knew Christ in the pardoning of my sins. Yes. Now I really understand what it's like to be fulfilled. Yes. Yes. Nothing does me better yes. than to preach the gospel now, and to yes. walk away knowing that I said Woo! something for God. I contemplated the message today I thought about what the Lord would have me to say just to enlarge upon John just a little bit he said beloved what manner of love that the father has bestowed upon us uh, that we should be called the children of God then it says beloved now are we the children of God and it does not yet appear what we shall be but we know when Christ shall appear we shall be like him for we shall see him as he is so let me establish this we are the children of God. Yes. 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 And let me make a distinction here. Uh, it, it, we are the sons of God. And as I looked up that particular word sons, it, it hails from the Greek and it's called weos. Now there's a difference here. I want to bring up two words that you want to make yourself uh, aware of. One is called tetnon, is son. It's, it means son also, but it's tetnon, T-E-K-N-O-N. And then there's the other word, weos, U-I-O-S. And what, what happens here is um, that there are two, the word son, technon means that you're just a son because you biologically so. That's all, it's a biological thing. You know, like, uh, who's the baby's daddy? You know, yeah, that's, that's kind of what that's like, you know. Yeah. Just a biological thing, yeah. you know, how they do on the talk shows. Is this the baby's daddy? Then they go out and do the D, D, you know, DNA. You are the baby's daddy. Well, that, that's a biological dad. And so there are sons that are like that, but then there are sons that are weases, that are, uh, that, that, are, that, are, that are carrying the traits of their parents and acting and looking like their parents and, 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 and carrying the, the love and, and the purpose of their parents and the, the, the God-given purpose in them. There's a difference between just being a son and then being a son. And so when Jesus is talking, when John is talking here, he's saying that we are the sons of God. We're by purpose. We're the sons of God. We're by association. We walk and we display the character of God. We look and act like God wants us to act. And people know that we've been with God because of the way we act. They said, that must be one of those God children. Because I noticed that there, that I noticed that their conversation 